Hello, folks. Celtic Nerd here, bringing you another nerdy video. And we are back with more Assassin's Creed uh, Brotherhood. Now, <clears throat> what just popped up on the screen right there is exactly something that I want to touch on. Uh, which we sort of can't right now due to the fact that there is no nearby banks. And we don't have the means of fast traveling to a bank. So I will save talking about it uh, for a little bit. But I will say it is something that is significantly different than what I've experienced in Assassin's Creed um, Brotherhood on the Xbox. So, previously I done, last night when I had my insom uh, usual insomnia issues, I did do to best we established the Thieves Guild, or at least we renovated their thing and we got them back to doing their job. And then we also uh, got the Corazans to do their spy craft, essentially. It's, I always find it a bit interesting that the Thieves Guild and the Courtesans essentially do the same job like for the Assassins, like both of them sort of spy and such. Ezio Auditore! Come in, come in! I'll kill you if you don't. <laughs> oh. I do want to address one thing. I know in my one of my first uh, videos of doing this Assassin's Creed Brotherhood was I was going to do videos titled S1 Memory or, uh, M1 for like Sequence 1 Memory 1. I however realized I could not do that because it messed there's a flow of the story that takes place outside the animus and it's it, it sort of like becomes a bit mud, uh, muddled like I can't it's much easier, everything flows better even the outside of the animus stuff flows a lot better when it's done in parts um, I was thinking of doing it the S1 M1, uh, sorry S whatever, M whatever because at least that way with the videos being fairly short it would not be too much of a thing to be like okay well I'm more interested in this memory how you tackled it and then jump straight into it so the, now the, however for simple labeling for you know in and out of anime sequences we're just going to go with the part back to the part system but each part is going to each memory is going to be a dedicated part so, which is why some of the videos are still going to be like maybe two minutes long, depending on how long the mission is, or in some cases, they, some sequence, some memories are just dialogue. So, um, they can Bartolomeo, wait here. You have to meet my wife, Fantasilea. Fantasilea, where is she? Did you check behind the table? Ah, here she is. Lieta di conoscervi. Charmed. Truly. Now, we talk about war. How was the fight against the French? Bene. My men are holding their own. Machiavelli seemed to think things were more difficult. You know Machiavelli... Abbiamo bisogno del vostro aiuto! Scusatemi. Throw me Bianca. Ezio, let me get straight to the point. The fight is not going well. We have been attacked on both sides. Borgia on one, French on the other. But know this, the Borgia position is weak. If you can defeat them, we can concentrate our forces on the French front. I think I know a way to help. Thank you for disclosing this to me, Madonna Dalviano. It is the least a wife can do to help her husband. Stop the leader before he gets to the tower! I 
thinking every night of sending you to Assassin's Creed franchise is continually uh, growing. I figured, well, just, I need to look at that and uh, get back into doing it. Uh, get back into doing it. Just because, like, again, they're, they're still growing. And now, after this video, um, I will do another video of essentially me going around doing Borgia Towers as well as. Ezio, we sent those luridi codardi running for the hills. Yes, we did. Now that the Pope's dogs have fled, I will be able to draw more men to the fight. But so I just love how, for the most part, whenever she's around her husband, she's she's trying to be like, like this whole like stone face, you know, like I'm I'm not like I'm not important type of thing. But then, as soon as like Ezio looks at her, she she's just like, like, yeah, well, we're the ones that are fucking like, yeah, <laughs> like she knows that like what really went on. First, I want to reinforce our barracks. Who will take care of this? I'm no good with these things. You are the educated one. You approve the plans. Va bene, but in return, I need to know Cesare and Rodrigo's every move. Can your men keep track of them for me? Of course. Isn't she a thing of beauty? Very impressive. More men join us every day. It has become very competitive, which is just the way I like it. As you can see, this board shows the ranks of our top warriors. Prove your skills, and you will move up the list. <laughs> Shouldn't I already be at the top? Jan's fighting downstairs! If you're looking to show off, we also have fights. Now, if you'll excuse me... I've got money on this match. <laughs> Where is Bartolomeo? At the fight downstairs. He has such an aggressive view of the world. However, strategy is equally important. 
Take these carrier pigeons, for example. Each one sent from Machiavelli bears the name of an important Templar in Roma. Eliminate them, and you will have more of an impact than a battle ever could. Thank you, Madonna. Can you ask Bartolomeo to come see me at Isola Tiberina with a report about Cesare and Rodrigo's whereabouts? Actually, he will be there. Actually, the next video, folks, is actually going to be me tackling the main story because we need to building over to get the assassins over. This is the Captain Nerds signing out. One name, one sky.